Hello everyone. Here is the agenda for today. Let us discuss content fragments in AEM 604. And we will talk about what is a content fragment, how to create a content fragment, author content fragments on a page. And later on, we will move for a demo how to generate JSON output of a content fragment. So, what is a content fragment? We all know that AEM supports websites. So, there are cases wherein AEM content should be taken to multi channel applications. For example, we have a single page application or a native mobile application or other channel touch points. So, AEM supports content fragments and experience fragments. So, the major difference between content fragment and experience fragments are content fragments are basically in a JSON format wherein the data will be available. But in experience fragments, it is a fraction of a website itself, as you see in the diagram. So let us analyze what is a content fragment, how to create and work with it. To start with the demo, let me log into the AEM. To create a content fragment, we need to go to Assets, Files, and click on Create. So we have options to create folder, files, and content fragment metadata. metadata. So let me go to the content fragment creation. So in this page, I need to select a template. So I'm as of now, I have only a simple fragment template, which is provided by default. I'll select the simple fragment template. Click on next. Provide a name. Let me go to the advanced section. So as you see, the default name is selected. If you need to change the name, you can modify it here. Click on Create. So now you get the success message. You can click on Open so that it takes to the new page. And if you come back to the previous section, you can see that sample fragment is created here. So before going to the newly created sample fragment, let me show the options available for a sample fragment. So once we select it, we have options to download, check out, to see the properties, edit, manage tags, moving to a collection, copy, moving the content fragment, and publish options. Also, we have delete option here. Now let us go to the content fragment which is created. So as you see here, we have the edit option enabled for this content fragment. So let me add some content for this.
So basic master va variation of the content fragment is created here. So let me create multiple variations for this. So as you see here, we have the variation one created. We have options to rename and delete. So let me create another variation. As you see here, we have many options to modify this text. So we have the full screen mode also. And if you need to add any content with the content fragment, we can associate it through this way. We can just click on this and select the relevant content for that. So in case if you need to modify the properties of that content fragment, you can do it here. So let me come back to the edit option. I'll save the content fragment here. Now you can see the sample content fragment with its data is created. So in case if you need to delete it, just select it. You can click on delete so it gets deleted. If you need to edit it, just select it. Click on edit. So we have many options as explained previously. Let us see the newly created content fragment. As we know that the content fragment is getting created at the content dam path. So if you see here, we have the sample fragment which is created now. If you see the JCR content node, we have associated metadata, model, related, and renditions. And under renditions, we can see the original which is master and variation one and variation two. So in case if we need to download the content fragment, we have options to download it here. Just select everything. Once you click on download, you will have a local version of the sample content fragment. Let us see how a content fragment can be authored. Just go to sites. I'll go to some of the sample page in V retail. Here I'm going to add a com component and that is going to be my content fragment. You can see the sample fragment here. Let me select the path. Now I'll tell, add it. Now you can see the content fragment is authored on this page. See that in the preview mode, you can see the main variation is getting added here. Let me go back to the edit mode. This single text element helps us to add some content in between the fragments. So let me show you that. So if we have main and master, so you can see that each content is split and we can add multiple contents in between.
I'll go back to the multiple elements. I'll tell like instead of master, let me go and select the variation. You can see that the new variation is added here. So as we know, I have ordered the component kernel fragment on the page usen min.html. So now I'm going to remove the editor.html and add dot model dot json with the URL. So once I open the URL, you can see the JSON format is generated here. So you can see the under items we have root. So we have header. Under header, you can see hero image, responsive grid. And uh, since I have added the content fragment, under the responsive grid. Let me find out that content fragment. You can see the content fragment here. And the section clearly says that the content fragment model is coming from content dam sample fragment JCR content model. So let us see how we can dig further and find out the values of this content fragment. Now let us dig into this content fragment, which is created here. So go to CRXD. Find out the page which is authored and go to that section where the kernel fragment is authored. I'll just copy this URL. Append the model.json with the URL. Hit this URL now. So as you can see here, the kernel fragment JSON format is generated. So it says the description, this is my sample fragment, and all the content is generated here. Since I have authored the main, we have the main content fragment. If you are authoring the variations one, we'll be able to see the variation one here instead of main. So this is the way we create, author, and generate output of a content fragment. Thanks for watching.